This is a nervous evening for the 850 people who work for Standard Register. Several companies are bidding on the business that's been in our community for a century. And a bankruptcy judge expected to decide its future tomorrow. Maytel Levy asking questions though tonight. What will happen if the new owner should pull all those jobs out of the city of Dayton? Like you said, Mark, that decision is expected tomorrow, and it could strongly impact Dayton's economy and put hundreds of local jobs at risk. The Standard Register filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. They owe millions of dollars. Since then, they've had several bidders on the company who all have the option of moving it someplace else. Minnesota Timberwolves owner Glenn Taylor is among one of several bidders eyeing the Standard Register. The billionaire also owns the Minneapolis Star Tribune, and his Minnesota-based company, Taylor Corporation, could take over Dayton's Standard Register. The fear is a new owner would move the company out of Dayton. And bankruptcy attorney Andrew Ziegler explains how that could impact our region's economy. And anytime a, a, a company that size will leave a community, you know, I'm sure there would be uh, some negative effects on the community. Despite the potential for those 850 jobs to disappear, Chris Kirchner with the Dayton Chamber of Commerce says the area is still up and coming. We're seeing a lot of positive growth, a lot of new jobs coming to this area, and we're excited for what the future holds. Wednesday, the U.S. Bankruptcy Court is expected to approve a bid. A judge will decide what's in the best interest of the company and those it owns. As for the direct effect of the sale, could we see an impact here at all? Again, that is really going to depend on the findings that are released tomorrow. Uh, so once we know those findings, then we'll know some more information. And that bid is supposed to come down tomorrow for new ownership. I called Standard Register. They declined to comment. I also called Taylor Core in Minnesota, but haven't heard back yet. We will stay on top of this story for you. Live in Dayton, Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.